girls is higher than among the boys and because of the social media because of the pictures like you have a picture and you didn't get enough likes so you're depressed because of that so do we have the question number one do we have the same problem here what do you think and is it about social media uh, for me, uh, I haven't uh, depressions. Uh, for me, I uh, haven't depressions, uh, and uh, I don't uh, worry a lot much uh, for my body about, about my body and uh, likes uh, on Instagram uh, because uh, I know that. Uh, the photos that I can see with a beautiful body, beautiful forms, uh, uh, it can be a Photoshop and uh, a pose uh, and uh, raccoons. Mm -hmm. uh, like a position. Yes, and uh, I also can stand, uh, can stand in front of the camera and uh, be so beautiful, uh, such uh, like girls uh, on pictures. What about your classmates? Are they depressed about the likes on Facebook or Instagram? Mm, about classmates, uh, I think uh, uh, not at all, but uh, mm -hmm. some girls have uh, depressions with that. Yeah, some girls have the problem. Yes. She, uh, she no, yes. She, they, 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 uh, they won't be more, uh, within, Slim, slim, uh, have uh, fashion, fashion uh, have fashion clothes, uh, um, thin uh, legs, belly, flat belly. But they, uh, in they you don't don't want to eat a lot. They uh, eat very. Uh, li very little, yes. They are on the diet all the time, right? Yes, all, all the time on the diet. Uh, don't want to eat uh, sweets or uh, something else. It's hard to tell about the statistics, but uh, what Sophia said was that we have this among girls too, but we don't know the statistics, whether they are, well, a lot of them are affected by this, but there are some girls who actually are affected by likes on Instagram or Facebook. Another thing that I found is that there's that girls have be, partly because of feminism and the women's movement which I approve of but they feel they have to be beautiful they have to be a top students they have to get into a really good college they have to get a, a really good career they, they kind of have to be super women there's really high expectations for girls and in fact around the world there's more women graduating from university than men except in Africa so there's there's something happening globally where girls are expected to achieve and do but it also puts pressure on them do you feel that do you feel this pressure like do you feel that a lot of pressure are put on you because someone expects you to graduate from university uh, be very independent, uh, get like really good marks, everything, so it's like A+. So. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I, don't I, yes, I don't have this I I don't have this problem. Yes, I don't. No, my uh, parents say that I uh, should uh, have good marks, uh, but uh, I, I try doing this, but uh, not always I... Uh, uh, have uh, good marks, and uh, not always I have time uh, to uh, more uh, prepare. prepare for my Class. lessons, uh, yes, and I have uh, more uh, um, more uh, important uh, lessons for me, and uh, I don't want to learn physics if I want uh, uh, if I uh, want to learn English, uh, German, uh, I don't want to learn physics. I know that I uh, uh, don't like it and uh, my future will be uh, con not, connected. Not, not connected. Not connected with physics. Yes. I uh, uh, have not bad marks. I, uh, I, uh, in general, I understand what, uh, my, what my teachers say and uh, exercise what we do. 
but uh, not very good. So you don't have that pressure on you, right? You don't feel the pressure. Yeah. Maybe twice, that's good. Um, what okay. about so, the other girl? What about you, your friend? Do you have? Do you feel this pressure? No. No. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no. She said no, but then maybe, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm starting on a book where I'm interviewing girls who are leading the climate change, the uh -huh. climate activism, like Greta Thunberg. Have you heard of her? Uh, Have you heard of Greta? Uh, the yes. climate yes. activist? One time, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. I so so uh, I Gail is uh, interviewing girls now. She's, she's working on a book and uh, she's interviewing girls on climate change, what is their attitude to climate change? Do you how, they, to, uh, how can they affect climate, climate change? The climate change, change in the California. Uh, what was the question? One more time. Uh, do you really feel it? Do you feel climate change in California? Oh yeah, the fires are an example of that. It's more. More fires. more fires. Oh yes, we've never had these huge fires before. Mm -hmm. This is new. Yeah. Do definitely. Do you feel it in Ukraine? Climate change? A little. Not, 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 not much. Yes, we have. I think we have climate change in Ukraine too. Like uh, in spring. In a better way. Uh, no, in spring we had a lot of hail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the hail destroyed a lot of crops that spring and uh, like right now it's the end of November we usually have snow in November yeah. even though the temperatures are negative right now uh, outside but still it's a lot warmer than previous years yeah, yeah. same here so, so ordinarily people would be skiing now up, up in the mountains but there's no snow no I, I, we, I don't think we have snow in Carpathians too or we have. Do we have yeah, snow? So when we have uh, many rain in Carpathia, uh, we have snow. Oh, so we have snow. Yeah. yeah. So we have snow this year in Carpathians. We we live in the mountains. We live like 250 or 300 miles from the Carpathian mountains. Yeah, and we have snow there too. Mm. Um, could could the young people say what they intend to study in university and what their career goal is? What is your career goal? What do you intend to study in university? Like, what would you like to learn at the university? What courses, maybe? Uh, the, Anyone can answer this question. I need you, please. Uh, now at the school, I uh, enjoy when I learn biology. I don't know uh, uh, what my uh, future uh, professional will be. So you're, you're not ready to yes. answer about career? Yes. But you like biology? I like, yes, I like biology. I think it's very interesting. And also I like uh, ge geography, but I also have very high marks from this uh, pregnant subject. Subject, 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 subject. But it's uh, interesting for me. Uh, what else? <laughs> what about you? Um, I like. Um, what would you like to learn at the university? Um, yeah, geography uh, and um, maybe. Physics? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, mathematics. 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 Okay. Uh, I like it's too difficult. It's too mm. difficult. Okay. Mm. What about the rest of you? Would you like to study at the university? <laughs> at the university no, I'm finished it. My study. <laughs> I'm finished it too. Yeah, I'm, all I'm, our graduates I'm, here. And, and well, what, I want, what kind yeah, of I want work? to work on the dissertation a little bit sometime. What? Yeah, I was thinking about working on the dissertation later. Okay. Not not today, but in general, like I'm thinking about writing a thesis and then dissertation chapter. So I want to do the research. Right. Um, could could people say what kind of work they do, or you know what what they're doing now? 
what kind of work you do? I'm a doctor of infectious diseases. Mm. And what are the infectious diseases that affect Ukraine the most? Uh, the most, uh, some diseases like um, measles. Oh, yeah. We, we had a lot of measles last year here. So, uh, and um, flu in winter time and um, diarrhea, mm. which, which causes uh, different viruses and uh, germs. Yes? Germs. 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 Yeah. And um, what else? Uh, Sauce throat. <laughs> Oh, so, there are a lot of infections right. here. The yeah. most popular the jaundice, is measles. Yeah. Jaundice. Right. Wait, measles. Okay. Yeah, I know it's a big problem around the world. Yeah, now. Yeah, now. Right. Mm -hmm. Even in uh, good countries, it's a problem. Yeah. Because of low level of uh, vaccinated people. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Hello, I'm a doctor too. I'm a family doctor. <laughs> yeah, uh, and it is a uh, very general uh, specialization. Yeah, but uh, I I would like to uh, change my specialization for the cardiology and oh. uh, yeah and uh, maybe uh, on in, in in this winter uh, I will have a possibility to change uh, my uh, specialization. Yeah, because I, I prefer to be a cardiologist. It's in the, in my the, hobby. Yeah, got it. In the U.S., a big problem is insurance companies, private insurance companies kind of control the medical system, and they want doctors to spend maybe 15 minutes with a patient and then see another one. So there's this pressure to crank out the patient's and not spend much time with them. And so that leads to, I think, over-prescribing pharmaceuticals. Because you say, okay, here's a prescription, goodbye. Is I'm assuming that's not a problem. How how long do you spend with a patient usually? Um, I, I have a two job. I have a uh, municipal, yeah? Municipal hospital? Municipal, municipal hospital. Yes, uh, I work in, uh, in a municipal hospital, yeah, and my, my two box is a private clinic. In the private clinic, I have one hour for one patient. Wow. In the it's, private clinic, yeah. one hour for one patient. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> and in the government clinic, I have 10 minutes oh. for one patient. It's oh. our problem too. Mm. Or said, but uh, yeah, uh, we should uh, uh, work very, very uh, quickly. Yeah, very really fast. Really fast, really fast with this patient. It's like a and uh, we, we, we don't have uh, more time for for one patient. Oh, that's interesting. That it's a problem there too. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is Natalia. I am a teacher at. Uh, school I teach of primary school I like children and like my job very much this is my son we come to the labor library time by time I just want to improve my English and he borrows some books here and um, now I am interested in um, religion and I am a student of the second course of uh, Ukrainian Catholic University uh, in Lviv, and uh, I'm very interested in my study. Um, and did you say religion? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Re yeah. Second, my PhD is in Europe Catholic University. Uh huh. My PhD is in religious studies, so I was interested in it too. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> okay. What does your son um, want to be when he grows up? Um, I actually I don't know. Ask him. <laughs> <I'm>, ask ask him. <laughs> him. <laughs> um, he likes drawing very much, and maybe in the future he will be a designer or maybe an artist. Architect. I don't know. Ask him. Architect. It would architect. be great. Ah, architect. It would be great. That would be great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andrea, I'm a programmer, and I'm, what the question was? 
What do you do? <laughs> what do you what do? do, you do? I'm a programmer. Programmer. Computer programmer. Okay. Yes. Do you, do, you, um, do you get tired of sitting in front of a computer all day? Not so much. Maybe a little. Got used, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's so cold, you can't go, out, go outside and take a walk around the block when you want a break? Yes, when you want to break, like when you want to pause from programming, mm -hmm. uh, when it's cold outside, are you going out to take a walk? Of course, it's a exercise all the, uh, each day, and another thing like this. Oh, the cold doesn't stop you. It's, it's mandatory. Mandatory, yeah. mandatory. To walk. To, to walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now you, you know the girls, right? Yeah. How old are they? How old are you girls? I'm 15. 14 and 15. Yes, we study in school. They're school students? Yes. Got it. Yes, your turn. <laughs> Next. Hello. Hello. Uh, my, my name is Yuri. I end a so university on a speciality a teacher, but from this time I have many works and now I work uh, like a home master uh, and sometimes I work on uh, building. Mm. And what, 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 what age group would you like to teach? Right. What, what? what age group would you like to teach? Ah, I don't like teach children. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you were in university to teach. I'm sorry, I don't. What, what what are you studying in university? Ah, I'm studying uh, informatic and uh, math. Information technology and math. Yes. Math. But uh, I uh, understand. Uh, I not very like children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not good. <laughs> yes. Hello. You know me, right? <laughs> I do. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you getting your PhD? Is that what you're doing the thesis dissertation for? Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, I my wife suggests me one of the universities, but I still doubt. But I want to do this in, maybe like in five, in six years. But I'm still thinking about this because I understand that I'm not going to work in school forever. You know. So what, you you might end up teaching university? Yes. I want to translate like from school to university, but later. Mm -hmm. in, in the States, it, the average years to get a dissertation are seven. Seven? Yeah. What in Ukraine, we usually have three. Good. But if it's like uh, psychology or pedagogics, you know, like teaching. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Do you have any other questions for us, or maybe if you have questions for Gail? Could you tell me, please? Uh, did you have some uh, possibility to visit Ukraine? <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> the closest I've been is Poland, Germany, Russia, but that's the closest. Yeah. Poland is the closest. Like we live really close to Poland. Oh right! I think you said that you you took courses there, right? Yes, and uh, we live like around four hundred miles from Warsaw. Mm. So it's like pretty close. Mm. But you can't understand Polish, right? Yes. If the if Polish speaks slower, mm -hmm. yes, we can understand. But we have a lot of people who speak Polish really good. Ah, I see. Okay, um, let me see what I want to ask. Oh, the they it seems like there's a, a conflict in Ukraine between the West wants to kind of align with Europe and the East wants to kind of align with Russia because they speak Russian. Is that true or is that not true? What do you think? It's like we have a conflict. Mm -hmm. West mm -hmm. wants to be a part of Europe and mm -hmm. East wants to be a part yeah. of Russia because they speak Russian. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's true or not? It's not. 
I, I don't know to really know about this this problem. It's like um, it's like artificial problem, you know. It's like a politician game. It's like you know? a political like, game. Like Trump, you know. Uh, all problems were created by Russia. All yeah. problems with Russian people. We we, do, we did not have any problems with this with Russian speaking pe people. We have a lot of them here. In, mm -hmm. e even in our region, and uh, we li lived always have, have lived always in peace with them. It's only created by Russia this problem because they wanted our territory, uh, they wanted Crimea, they wanted uh, Eastern Ukraine, and, and that's they, why it's happened. And they also wanted to, <coughs> to have influence on Ukrainian mm -hmm. political system too. Yeah, they did. They don't want Ukraine to be the uh, independent and a part of the European membership. They just want to be Ukraine a satellite of Russia as usual. Well, the, That's form, the former influence. president was like a Russian ally, yeah. right? And, now and he's, that's why they, they were growing this president for years. Yeah. And now he's yeah. living in Russia. Yes, and I think he's going to be there for years. Now. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, <coughs> how is it having your president be a, a TV star who played being a president. I know nothing about our president because I don't see the TV. It's like, what do you think about having our president being a TV star playing a president? Like, like, uh, like Reagan in the USA? Yeah. Like Reagan? Yeah, or Trump. <laughs> Trump was a reality TV star. Not, not so much like Reagan. <clears throat> Reagan more um, professional, more professional or uh, actor. Uh, actor. Reagan was more professional actor <laughs> <laughs> than yours. Yeah. <laughs> well, he but he played that part for for a decade, right? He was on TV for a long time. Three uh, seasons. seasons. It was yeah. three seasons of this series. Three seasons, yeah. Um, and uh, he played this um, role. Role. He played this role, and our people, um, how to say, believed, uh, believed that he uh, would be um, the, the best president because they believed in this series. Yeah. Our people so um, simple and even stupid. <laughs> Uh, it's my opinion. And, Just uh, believers, you know. Uh, it's uh, g great uh, d disappointment uh, for me and for many people that we uh, chosen such a president. How is he uh, doing? Uh, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Almost every week we have uh, uh, a funny story about our president, like Trump. Oh. Like he said. Like his expressions, mm -hmm. his uh, opinions. And then it was really interesting to read the uh, trans transcripts from their, their conversation between Trump and uh, our president. Oh, boy. There was this transcript where our president was uh, uh, thankful to Trump and uh, Trump was like, I have to invite you, I have to invite you. And he, uh, he stressed on that like seven times maybe. And then our president was like, thank you, thank you, thank you a lot, thanks a lot, thank you a lot. And then Trump, I have to invite you to the White House. I have to. <laughs> yeah, so that was the whole transcript. <laughs> well, you know, but he does need American money for arms, right, for military yeah. defense. So, I mean, he, he didn't really have a choice. Well, that's, that's true. I have to admit that's true. It's not only that president, it, any president would need probably not only... Uh, uh, American money, but also other external allies' money. Yeah. Right. All right. Do you have any other questions? Because we are about to finish. Because yeah, it's time and okay. Uh, we're in the library, so we uh, we only have two hours here, uh, and it's almost done. So. All right. Well, thank you very much. It was lovely talking with you. Thank you. And I'm, I, I really, really appreciate you waking up so early in the morning and actually find time to talk to us in the English speaking club, even though we have a few members today. But still, we are very happy that you.